What's up, Packers fans? Good morning. Happy Monday. The beginning of OTAs. That's right. The Packers will be on a football field at some point this week, and we'll actually get to watch it tomorrow as media members. We being the collective media, not the public, unfortunately, but the Packers are in the building. Uh, one notable person not in the building is Aaron Rodgers. Still uh, chilling out there in Hawaii. I can't blame the guy. Sounds like he's having a great time. Packers are slogging away at OTAs. What would you rather be if you were a three-time MVP? You know what you can do on the football field. Yeah, I'd be sticking out there as well. Hello to uh, everyone in the comments section. Thank you for joining me on the Packers Daily Chat here on Cheesehead TV social channels, Monday through Friday, every day at 10 a.m. It's what we do. We talk to Packers fans worldwide. Worldwide. That is correct. <laughs> Tony, good morning. How are you? It's 9 a.m. Packer time. Just saying. That's great, Ben. It's 10 a.m. where I live. Boom. Ryan, what's up, man? Checking in from City Hall, Appleton, Wisconsin. First day at the office. Still here for you, Nags. Well, I hope you uh, pay attention to your duties there, City Hall. Serious business. You never know what zoning issue might come up and what trash can needs to be moved. Be on your A game, sir. Uh, better chance to make it into the Packers Hall of Fame someday, Randy Wright or Blair Keel. Mike, no, no, we're not starting out the week with that. Nope, 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 not, a, not even, not even close. Good morning, Sandy. How are you? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Good morning. Joey the Jaguar is here. $500 Rogers segment is a, a joy retirement, Kenny, heading into commercial. Every chance that that's a, a possibility. No doubt about it. Um, yes, Aaron Rodgers is slated to talk to Kenny Maine on his final Sports Center appearance tonight on ESPN, slated to, I believe, begin broadcast at 11 Eastern. That's 10 a.m. or sorry, 10 p.m. Lambo time. Um, who knows when Rodgers will fit in uh, on the rundown? But yeah, Joey, I'm with you. It'll most likely be a okay. Thanks for all the memories. They'll play the clip of Aaron Rodgers hitting T.J. Lang in the face with a cabbage from back in the day and. That'll be that. That's my guess, anyway. Why doesn't Donald Driver get the respect he deserves? Tough SOB and best hands I've ever seen. Who isn't giving Donald respect? I mean, the man is the all-time receptions leader, yardage leader in Packers history, and he often gets talked about as such. But, I mean, if you're talking from a pure talent standpoint, he doesn't stand up to Sterling Sharp or James Lofton. Come on. Sir, Donald Driver is a great, great, great story, you know, fantastic wide receiver no one's taken away any of his abilities or what he contributed to the Packers but oftentimes when you know these conversations happen around the best wide receivers in franchise history his name gets mentioned as a bit of an aside because of his accomplishments there's no doubt you can't take those away but from a pure talent standpoint or even just production if you're talking Sterling before he got hurt come on it's not even close podcast 19 what's up man Thanks for the super chat. Cheesehead TV is the best place to be, and the guys running it are second to none stand up guys. Well, that's very nice of you, man. Thank you for saying so. Next, misplaced the whiskey for his coffee. Yeah, fair. Nightman cometh. He's going to talk about anything before his contract is finalized. I would uh, respect your correct, sir. Mason Crosby, what a guy. Be this reliable for this long in the 920. Pretty damn impressive. No doubt about it. Uh, it's a nice luxury. I mean, that's the reason they re-signed him last year. Man, they know they can count on him. Rogers gives his thoughts on scotch for three minutes. Yeah, good chance. Donald Driver and Sterling Sharp deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Sterling Sharp does. Not Donald Driver. When, Whenever, ever in the history of Donald Driver's career was he the best wide receiver or in the conversation for the best wide receiver in the league? Productive, sure. As someone said, tough SOB, no doubt about it. But the best wide receiver in the league at any point during his career? No, never. That never, ever was a discussion. Sterling Sharp was. Sterling Sharp was a man among boys. Come on, it's not even close. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Joe. What's a Blair Keel? You're better off not asking. Accidental Hero, what's up, man? Thanks for the super chat. Fear the deer and carry the G. Bucks win, nags. Pappy fun, happy about that. Congrats to the Bucks! I believe they have another game tonight. I, I don't, I'm not really sure. All I know is the the Knicks lost last night in hilarious fashion. Uh, but it was great to see playoff basketball back at the Garden, despite uh, Dolan doing everything he can to make that franchise a joke over the last several decades. 
Uh, Blake, is there a reason Preston Smith rarely plays with his hands in the dirt? I feel like that he has the body type to make an impact that way, and Gary gets more playing time. Blake, you know, that's a great question as far as, like, what they have done in the past under Mike Pettin. Who knows what happens going forward under Joe Barry? Maybe we see a bit more of that. I tend to think it's because maybe they view him as a little bit stiffer than Gary is, who has done a lot of work with his hand in the dirt. Um, and they like his get off a little bit more from the two point stance rather than the three, but it might be something that changes under a new regime. We'll have to wait and see, but um, I just think Gary is a much more fluid athlete and that certainly helps him in that regard, especially in a pass rush situation. Don't forget about the crew. How could I forget about the crew, man? I watched him. It was great. Yelich went yard, man. While they were chanting overrated. So sweet. Mm. Driver was, is a Packer. He always will be. No doubt about it. Can never take it away from him. His name is in the record books forever. Uh, Uncultured. Thanks for the super chat, man. Good morning, Nags. What should this morning's jam be? Lido Shuffle or Love Will Find a Way? Both solid tunes. I'll go with Love Will Find a Way. Pappies. Thanks, Uncultured. Is Jordan Love in town this week? Yes, Mike. He is. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> I love these questions. Robin, if Rogers signs, how many years does he play in Green Bay? Two, three, or more? Guess what? He's already signed. He signed for three more years. Now, what will happen contract-wise? Will they make some of that more? Well, give him a little bit more guaranteed money. Some guarantees in the first two years of those three years remaining on his deal? Possibly. But how many more years does he play in Green Bay? I suspect two. I'd suspected one, but uh, I think two now. Steven, thanks for the super chat. Hope you had a good weekend. Other than love, who are you most looking forward to seeing in the preseason? Woo. Uh, I think the obvious answer there is Amari Rogers, but I don't know how much work he's going to get. Uh, but I'll that'll be my answer for now. It's judgment day, friends, kind of. No, Jacob, it's not even close. The first thing even remotely close to a date that we can like kind of start to get a feel for how serious this stuff is, is June 8th. And I know some people say June 1st, because that's when it becomes easier for the Packers to trade Rodgers, but they're not trading Rodgers. Uh, but June 8th is the mandatory minicamp date. And that's when Rodgers will really be telling the Packers to go fuck themselves if he doesn't show up. So that's the first date you really want to circle. I just hope Yosh is in town. I had no word, Mike, no word yet. I, I need some Yosh Nyman in my life. That is for damn sure. Mm. Jordan Love goes 12 and 5 this year and wins Super Bowl MVP. Jeezy, baby. It's going to be hard for them to, for him to do that when wins and losses are not a quarterback stat. Doesn't matter if it's Aaron Rodgers. Doesn't matter if it's Brett Favre. Doesn't matter if it's Jordan Love. Wins and losses are not a quarterback stat. Thanks for playing. Is there still room for Tyler Irvin on this team? Literally, no, because they're at 90. And that's the cap roster wise. Um, I think it's pretty clear that they've moved on from Tyler Irvin. As much as I hate it, I love Tyler as a player, but, you know, enter Amari Rogers. When the dust settles on Rogers, what do we freak out about next? Um, good question. Probably, um, I don't know. What would it be? What kind of drama can we gin up? I'll have to think of something. It's a good question. I'll get to work on it. TKM, thanks for the super chat. Fast forward to week eight. Who are we talking about and what is the hot topic? Carry the G. I love you guys trying to get... Well, can we just live in the now, please? I don't know. Well, we're talking about Elton Jenkins has played three positions and absolutely mastered all of them. Again. Kyle, Kamal Martin's second year jump has me juiced, man. Kamal Martin could be a real one. I mean, he looked so good last summer and then he got hurt. Then obviously he came back from the injury and did play some significant minutes throughout the season. Definitely saw the athleticism, kind of the pop, the sizzle, if you will. But you also saw him take a lot of false steps, get kind of caught up in the wash a bunch, centers, guards getting up on him and erasing him, etc. But man, the potential is there. And if he can take that jump, and that's one of those guys that you need, those you know first to second year players that really start to develop and uh, solidify what you're doing, uh, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, he's exciting. And if he can make that jump, the Packers could be cooking with gas there on defense, no doubt. 
What will the final score of the Packers week one game in 2025? <laughs> Thanks, Joey. I'll, I'll get to work on that. I don't know. Mm. Who starts at center? Joshua, most likely, provided it doesn't look too big for him. I think Myers is your starter at center. I know there's been talk about maybe Jenkins sliding in there, but that's not been on the outside. I haven't heard anything like that from the Packers. Um, but yeah, I got to suspect, you know, he hits the ground running uh, during practice, especially the start of training camp. I would suspect he's your week one starter at center, which feels weird, but hell, Corey Lindsley did it. He started week one his rookie year. Seems like Myers might be cut from the same cloth. Let's freak out about BJ Sanders' return. <laughs> you guys, you, I got, we got to have like a challenge of like trying to get me to laugh at these things. And I'm going to, but I'm going to go in knowing I'm, I'm not going to laugh. I'm, I'm going to try not to laugh because those are so great. Uh, next freak out will be Devontae's contract situation or Jair's. Antoine, that's a really good point. It won't be Jair's because they've already exercised the fifth year option. So they've got some time there, but it will definitely be Devontae's contract situation. Great call. That is correct. Oh, boy. Ah, the bootlicker himself. Kidding, Nags. What's up, Mitchell? It's me, the bootlicker. For those of you who don't know, there are like this faction of Packers fans who just get on me about being so uh, into or pro Packers. I know, I'm a Packers fan. It's amazing. And some people like these dildos on Twitter call me bootlicker or whatever. But Friday afternoon, literally within like the span of three tweets, I had one guy call me a bootlicker. And then I had another guy saying that I had crossed into troll ter territory because I was too mean to the team. I didn't carry the G anymore. And that doesn't tell you, you know, <laughs> how funny the internet is. I don't know what does. I'm either totally bootlicking or I'm too mean and I don't carry the G. I'm both of those things, people. I'm a duality. You can't handle the truth. I don't love it. Uh, can we freak out about the weapon getting cut? No, oh, so BC, but Devante's contract stuff will come first because everyone will be freaking out all summer about it especially if it doesn't get done by the start of camp. And JK, if he were to get cut, probably wouldn't come until at least during camp, if not at the end of camp. So the timeline would suggest Devante's contract will be the freak out next before that. Did I block them? Seems to be a frequent thing for you. It depends on my mood. Usually I just mute. The one who called me a bootlicker on Friday, I just muted. But, you know, if you're just a dick out of nowhere for no reason to me or anyone else, yeah, sometimes I'll just block you. What you know, the world like can do what it wants on Twitter, man. People block me, people mute me. It's fine. Sometimes I block, sometimes I mute. It doesn't matter. It's my Twitter account. It's cool, man. The world keeps on turning. Here's the other thing: nothing that gets said on Twitter matters. Please, come on. Uh, am I crazy for thinking Peak Jennings is greater than Jordy? No, you are not crazy at all. Greg Jennings was insanely talented and a fantastic wide receiver, even though Packers fans have completely turned on him because of everything that's gone on after his Packers career. He was an amazing, amazing player in the green and gold. Uh, bring back Don Bracken. You guys are crazy. I guarantee I am muted. Jonathan, you are not muted. You used to be. You were at one time, but you're not anymore. Well done. You're working your way up. <laughs> Next freak out will be someone on here screaming about a missed super chat. There you go, jo Jacob. That's it. Well done. I like it. Running over Turner at guard. Uh, yeah, I think there's a good possibility. I think Turner will most likely be your starting right tackle. I know I've, I've seen people thinking or positing that uh, Jenkins could slide out to right tackle. And that's certainly something I think we'll see in camp as far as working a rotation and just giving – every possibility a try, but I really think it'll be, you know, Jenkins at left tackle while Bakhtiari's coming back. Um, and then Runyon and uh, Patrick probably at center. And then, I mean, who knows when there's new kids maybe in, in the right guard position, but I think they leave Turner at right tackle. I can't imagine pushing him back into guard. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Thanks for not blocking me, Nags. Tony, a lot of ball game left. <laughs> Oh, I love it. 
Bring back Donnie Anderson. Now you're talking. Will Runyon tell us next year we've been mispronouncing his name? Probably. <laughs> is Lucas Patrick job secured? William Nolan's job is secured. You're always fighting. You're always getting, uh, they're always looking to replace you. Um, but I would suspect he's got a good shot. Um, I think he'll be one of the starters this year. Turner is underrated. Michael, he had a really good year last year. A shockingly good year, especially at tackle, both left and right. Now, I know he got uh, worked in the NFC Championship game, but man, he saved, he absolutely saved their bacon last year in a number of situations, whether it was at tackle or guard, but especially at tackle. Um, I mean, you talk about that contract. Everyone was so upset that they paid him. I mean, I questioned it when it happened. I didn't understand. That was literally the first call Brian made when the legal tampering pe period started like, three years ago. And I didn't understand it. I was like, who is lining up to pay Billy Turner? Why are you paying him this much money? His versatility, I mean, absolutely worth every penny last year. No question about it. So, yeah, I'm with you. I agree. <laughs> Joe, I am blocked. Joe from St. Cloud. Can you unblock? I can, Joe. Yes, I can. Yosha's ready to fill in. We'll find out. Am I on the Stokes hype train? I'm excited to watch him. I have no idea how he's going to pan out in the NFL, just like every other draft pick. But, man, the tools are there. The only thing that really concerns me are the penalties. He gets flagged a lot for grabbing dudes. Can't have that. That's a killer. That's a drive extender. Can't have it. But, yes, very exciting. Oh, I miss formation U71 with right tackle Barry. Andrew, Corey, and I used to talk about that all the time. Love that. Love that. Jumbo. Love it. Ben, what's up, man? Thanks for the super chat. Can't please everyone. We can all agree that the Bears will always suck. Carry the G. Pappies. Now you're talking, Ben. Talking some sense here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What else we got? Joseph, thanks for the super chat. Feel for love, but adversity builds franchise QBs. We'll find out, Joseph. We will find out. Justin, has Aaron ever missed OTAs? Nope. This is the first time. He's finally treading the path. Worn down by Brett Favre back in the day. Brett used to miss OTAs all the time and mini camps. Um, but yeah, no, this is the first time. I love it. nice job with PFF. Is your last name pronounced Nagler or Nagler? George was saying, what was he saying? The former. I I tell her, but I don't care how you say it. I say Aaron Nagler. That's how I say it. However, anyone else says it, they say it however they want. People regional you know, differences, et cetera, how you say the A, whatever. I don't care. However you want to say it. I say Aaron Nagler. That's me. James, thanks for the super chat. Cheers to Cheesehead TV for providing meaningful content between Sundays. Uh, I try, James. I'm, I know you're not talking about this chat because there's nothing meaningful going on here. But for the rest of the crew, thank you very much. That's very nice of you. Nice. Do you think Josh Jackson could play in the nickel or as safety? Man, Al, that's a great question in regards to the possibility of utilizing him someplace else, maybe because it's a new staff, they give him a look-see. I mean, the safety thing was talked about all the time when he was coming out in the first couple of years in the league, and they just never did it. Maybe Barry does that out of desperation to try and just get something out of him. But yeah, I don't know, man. We'll see. I wouldn't see him inside in the nickel, but safety is a possibility. Um, you know, and like I said, that was talked about a lot when he was coming out in the draft. But, yeah, I wouldn't suspect he'd be the interior guy. But you never know. Uh, maybe they see something there, a possibility, and they try and train him up. Uh, we'll see. I'm really fascinated to see what kind of chance he is given. You know, now that they've got a lot of kind of moving parts back there, uh, especially when it comes to the sub packages, see how much opportunity he's given to win a job. I'm um, going to be watching that pretty closely. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I thought U-71 was a submarine movie. Well played. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Turner played left tackle in that game. Wagner right tackle. I don't know what game you're talking about, unless you're talking about the NFC Championship game, in which case, I know. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Who takes the bigger leap, Sternberger or DeGuara? DeGuara. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Got seats in the 40-yard line when we play the Ravens' first Packer game. Brian, enjoy. That's a tough place to play, too, man. Packers going to have to bring their A game, no doubt. 
Have a wonderful week, Aaron. Enjoy your chats. Thank you, Kathleen. Very nice of you to stop by and say hello. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to leave it there. What a lovely way to leave the chat. Um, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out, talking Packers each and every day. I will undoubtedly be going live tonight after Aaron talks, no matter what he says. So be on the lookout for that. We'll get some extra cheese up in here for you guys. In the meantime, do me a monster favor and hit like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends. And tell your family. Cheesehead TV. We are devoted to Green Bay Packers fans worldwide. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great Monday. Go Pack Go. <laughs>